Hey, all right, so we're going to do Hocus Pocus 2 for Halloween, innit? I don't know anything about this franchise really. Well, I know that it's witches. That's about it. I never saw the first movie, so I, I'm, I'm a real virgin here. I thought I'd just pick it up because the Halloween-themed thing, and it's new, and I can watch it because it's on Disney+. Plus. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> Okay, so 10 minutes in, there's zero laughs, zero charm. There's some good bits of cinematography, but it's mostly cheap aerial drone stuff and some nice scoring. Those add to the mix somehow. Also, I find the framing of the prologue around the Salem witch trials to be a, a bit distasteful, actually, a bit distasteful. So at 12 minutes, 42 seconds, we get the, the beginning titles, the beginning title card and zero enthusiasm so far. Perhaps my enjoyment will increase when the adult stars replace the, the kid stars from the from the prologue. Let's see. Hey, that's so Glenn. First funny joke in the movie at the 15 minute two second mark. Okay, so 20 minutes in and there's a B-52's needle drop, which is... That can't hurt, can it? At 20 minutes, uh, 46 seconds, Gilbert the Great. He seems pretty cool. I wonder what's going to happen with him. Oh, he's exposition man. Uh, the kids are all right. You know, the script is absolutely fucking terrible, but the kids are all right. And then it's at this stage that the original cast returns with a song and dance number, which is uh, dreadful, but I kind of liked it. It's fine. And Bette Midler's not dead. Yay. Okay, I delighted in the luring, twas my only job, courtesy of the Sarah Jessica Parker. Uh, people used to be really mean about Sarah Jessica Parker. I don't know why, I think she's very attractive. She has extreme features, but uh, good breeding, I, I, I would say. I, I don't know why anyone would single her out as someone who was unattractive. Okay, so around the 35 minute mark, uh, third laugh in the movie, uh, Bette Midler grabs a clerk by the face in a, I think it's actually a supermarket um, and exclaims how many souls <laughs> okay so we're at the 40 minute mark and Gilbert is back perhaps that he will be the one to redeem the witches in the eyes of the townspeople I don't know that's just my guess at this stage I don't know so at uh, 45 minutes they're doing the power spell that would seem to indicate some kind of big plot development uh, I have no idea what uh, at this stage I, I, I find I'm finding the narrative unintelligible maybe I'll become more intelligent as, as we go on. Okay, 50 minutes in, I'm just so bored. I'm so, so goddamn bored. But some zombies turn up. A zombie turns up and that kind of livens things up for about three minutes. <sighs> Shit. Okay, so at the one hour, six minutes mark, I, I still have no idea what's going on except that the hero kids in the movie seem to have captured the witches in some kind of hex bubble. <sighs> okay, at the 123 mark, uh, one hour is 23 minutes. There, there's now a real adversarial relationship between the kids and the witches who are real witches and real nasty and stuff like that. Who the fuck cares? Okay, so the 125 minute mark and it's um, the witches have done something that, that they, I don't know, they've achieved their aim of destroying the universe or some crap and they're dancing around in a really badly edited Tim Burton sort of way. Um, I expect that the kids will rush in and do something to save the world at the last minute. Oh, it turns out that the power spell that the witches cast earlier extracts from them that the thing that they most desired by executing the spell, they've destroyed themselves. Wow, at the 130 mark, how lucky are sisters to have each other. <laughs> yeah. You've... So yeah, in conclusion, that was a that was a horrible waste of my time. That was a horrible waste of my time. Um, but I went there so you don't have to. I just sat through Hocus Pocus 2. You love me. Yeah.